Hello and welcome and Namaskar Time Series Analysis Method of Moving Averages Now we are going to discuss about weighted moving average We already know how to calculate weighted mean Sigma XW upon Sigma W That is the formula to calculate weighted mean Where W is the sign of weights and the values of the variable are multiplied by the weights and the summation is obtained that is known as sigma xw if we say x is a variable and then it is not divided by anything like n the number of observations but it is divided by the summation of the weights that is sigma w and ultimately sigma xw upon sigma w the weighted mean is found the same in the same way we can find the weighted moving average as we know in moving average we need moving totals according to the period of cycle decided by us instead of merely the summation of the values we multiply them by respective weights and then we get the summation that is known as or that is something like our sigma xw and then it is divided by the summation of the weights and the result is the weighted moving average let's do a small case where we need to find out the three yearly weighted moving averages and the weights to be taken are one two and one respectively that means the first value should be multiplied by one that will remain as it is second by two third by one so sigma w will be four so we shall divide the summation by 4 instead of 3 of the 3 yearly weighted moving average. So in this case the first total will be of first 3 after multiplying by the weights. First value is 3 multiplied by 1 plus second is 5 multiplied by 2 plus third is 6 multiplied by 1. 5 into 2, 10 plus 3, 13 plus 6, 19. Similarly, now the second total will be of second, third and fourth value in which 5 is first, so it is multiplied by now 1, second is 6, it will be multiplied by 2 and third is 8, it will be multiplied by 1. 6 into 2, 12, 12 plus 8, 20 plus 5, 25. Now the summation of third, fourth and fifth value in which first is 6 multiplied by 1, second is 8 multiplied by 2 and third is 9 multiplied by 1 again. 8 into 2, 16 plus 9, 25 plus 6, 31. Now next total will be of fourth, fifth and sixth value and it will be written again in the middle, fifth value. 8 is first, so it is multiplied by 1, 9 is second, it is multiplied by 2 and 12 is third, it is multiplied by 1. 9 into 2, 18 plus 12, 30 plus 8, 38. And next total of the last three values, so it will be the last summation because after that we shall not have three values for summing up. 9 is first, it is multiplied by 1, 12 is second, it is multiplied by 2 and 14 is third, multiplied by 1. 12 into 2, 24 plus 14, 38 plus 9, 47. And against the last value, nothing will be written. Now, sigma x divided by sigma w4. 19 divided by 4, 19 divided by 2, 9.5, again divided by 2, 4.75. 25 divided by 4, 6.25. 31 divided by 4, 7.75. 38 divided by 4, 9.5. And 47 divided by 4, 11.75. In this way, we can calculate the weighted moving average. Generally, it is not compulsory. Generally, weighted moving averages are calculated with 
or the period of cycle 3, 5, 7, etc. In the forthcoming lectures, we are going to discuss comparison with weighted moving average for a specific odd period cycle and center moving average of a specific even period cycle and we shall compare the results that will be interesting.